Hello and welcome to New Mexico Rising. My name is Dan. You know, each and every week I try to bring people from across the country right here onto the program to talk about things we could do here in New Mexico. On this week's show, we got this. And the song What I Did is actually featured in the new uh, Boneyard movie that's with uh, 50 Cent and Mel Gibson. What was it like to have your music featured in such a, a, a high profile big movie? I love meat, I love grilling, and on Carnivorous, we're always trying to show Food Network fans how to really bring out the flavor in anything they're cooking up this summer. 85 years we have been hiring veterans, we support veterans and first responders. Um, veterans, we hire a lot of them for our distribution centers, our supply chain, here at our store support center, in our stores. And the last thing I want to happen is they stumble upon pirate or content or illicit streaming sites when they're trying to watch a, a movie or a show. All that and more right here on New Mexico Rising. With summer's heat and sun exposure, our skin faces some unique challenges like damage, breakouts, and dryness. So joining us today is Dr. Alexis Stevens, a board certified dermatologist and founder of Parkland Dermatology and Cosmetic Surgery, who's here to share her expert tips on achieving the ultimate summer glow up. And she's got a way to break down essential skincare updates and the top ingredients to keep our skin healthy and radiance. And I need all the help I could get. So let's welcome her to the show. Welcome Dr. Stevens, how are you my friend? Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing okay. I I need help. I need look, look at this this face. All right. Why do you think it's important to make a shift in our our beauty routine, especially during the summertime? So during the summertime, our skin faces pretty different environmental factors. The sun is out for much longer. The UV index is much higher. And the humidity can also cause a lot of acne flares or breakouts. So it's really important that we are actually using more sun protection during this time and that we use ingredients that can help to combat some of those free radicals that are going to be anytime we're getting more sun exposure, really trying to wreak havoc on our skin. So what ingredients should we be like seeking out and, and find in our skincare products? Yeah, so not only just ingredients, but really using quality products too. My go-to ingredient, especially for summer, is going to be SPF. So we know that we need to protect our skin from any of the sun damage. Sunscreen's your number one defense. But then you can also boost that defense by using things like antioxidants. Vitamin C is my favorite. It's the most evidence-based for helping to combat free radical damage, but also boost your collagen, help to even out your skin tone, and really help with any pigmentation concerns. Also, you mentioned a lot of dryness can actually happen in the summer. So you want to use products with hyaluronic acid and niacinamide that can really help with not only strengthening your skin barrier, but keeping in the hydration and making sure you stay moisturized. So like, how do you get your skin to do that thing where it's like all bright and glowy? So, number one. Uh, I, that's it, no, that's a, yeah, I'm just wondering, what are like the essentials to keep your skin uh, like bright and glowy, I guess? Yeah, so for me, my personal go-to right now is the Olay Melt with the vitamin C. This is my go-to cleanser because it helps to remove the dirt, the oil, the debris, but also the sunscreen that I've been reapplying throughout the day. Keeps your skin nice and hydrated while cleansing, and it has a three-in-one technology that cleanses, tones, and refreshes. After I use a cleanser, I really love using the Olay Vitamin C Moisturizer because it's nice and lightweight. I don't want anything too heavy on my skin in the summer. So I love that this is very lightweight and just kind of instantly moisturizes the skin. You see it gives a little glow. And then, of course, you want to follow this up with your sun protection. So the Glow and Protect SPF 50 is so convenient. You easily put it on. It leaves an instant glow. And if you need to reapply throughout the day, this is something that you can really quickly carry with you. There's room in any bag for this one. All right, Dr. Stevens, thanks for joining me this morning. Where can we go for more information about any of this? Yeah, thanks so much for having me. You can go to Olay.com to learn more about the products. Dr. Stevens, thanks for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me. Summer is officially underway, so get ready for the thrill of the grill. You know, just in time for National Grilling Month. Yes, that's a real thing. We have Courtney Rada, the host of the Food Network's Carnivorous. 
She's here to serve up some fun food inspiration. You know, Courtney's a comedian and a foodie who has been a judge on the Food Network and Cooking Channel and has like the dream job that I would love. And uh, <laughs> she's also been on shows like Beat Bobby Flay and Chop Jr. So let's welcome her to the show. Courtney Rada, how are you? Hey, thanks for having me. I'm doing good. How about yourself? Um, I'm doing terrible. Oh gosh. Yeah, okay, I well, to... maybe I can change that. I got some I got some fun stuff here for you. That's that's what I need. That's why <laughs> I, I brought you in. I need to like look for my summer to make it a little brighter and and grill happy. I don't know. That's not even Yeah, a term. exactly. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. what's the key to some grilling success, my friend? Yeah, I got you. Okay, so I love meat, I love grilling, and on Carnivorous, we're always trying to show Food Network fans how to really bring out the flavor in anything they're cooking up this summer. Some tips for me. Always start with that hot, clean grill. Oil that great. Don't move the food around too much. Also, I use a meat thermometer just to make sure we get proper cooking temperatures across the board. And always let your meat rest when you take it off that grill. Do you have a favorite uh, for every kind of grilling season or occasion? Yes, absolutely, I do. Zataran smoked sausage is a must-have for summer grilling season. For an easy recipe that will absolutely hit the spot, you have to check out their Cajun-style chili dogs from chef influencer Ninja Q. The sausages, they're pre-cooked, versatile, flavorful, and expertly seasoned. They're also perfect to spice up some of your tasty favorites like grilled shrimp kebabs and blackened chicken sausage alfredo. Some of their flavors include andouille, Cajun style, and blackened seasoned chicken smoked sausage. You can get them at Kroger, at Walmart, and so many other stores nationwide. And you can visit Zatarans.com for more great grilling recipes just like this bad boy. Hey, I'm a fan of the Zatteran. That's where I'm at. Um, so what's a go-to <laughs> beverage for the backyard party? You know, I always grill and I have a beer in hand. I don't know about you, but for this, you can't go wrong with Samuel Adams. It is the only beer brand worthy of the founding father. Here we have their latest brew, American Light. It's crisp, refreshing, and a distinctly American craft lager that's super easy to drink without compromising on that flavor. You can also check out the Samuel Adams Beers of Summer Variety Pack, which features an assortment of brews for all of your summer's memorable moments. And with that variety pack, you're definitely in to get something for everybody at your backyard barbecue. Excellent. All right. Do you have any uh, other must-haves for the summer? Okay, you're going to like this one. Okay. It's important when you're going to your barbecue that all your ingredients, your food, your drinks, they all stay fresh. And for this, my go-to is the GoSun Solar Cooler. It's solar powered, so it never needs ice. So you don't have that slushy, sloppy mess sloshing around. And also you have way more room for, for drinks, for food. Um, it's solar powered and it runs off of that 12 volt battery that's recharged by the sun. Definitely a must have and a game changer, honestly, for your backyard barbecues. That thing is awesome. All right. I know. <laughs> All right. I, I need one of those. I'll put it in my car. I got a little electric car. I'll put the little shade in my window, too. So it, it'll Could be you charging it up all over the place. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. That sounds great. Uh, where, where can we go for more information? Or do you have anything else for us, like grilling success and all that good stuff? You yeah. know, I think that I've traveled a lot with Carnivorous, and I've met a lot of people, and I feel like there's, this, uh, there's a little bit of a grill master in all of us. You just got to use your fresh ingredients, do your prep, have fun and have confidence, and you'll, you will be successful on that grill. Have fun I could do, confidence in grilling. I'll work on it. I, I saw yeah. a smart grill the other day, and I think I might be interested in that. That might help me out, chirp at me and stuff like that, say, hey, your meat's going to burn. So, uh, <laughs> just, just to tap you on the shoulder and be like, hey, we got you. Yeah, yeah don't fail us, Dan. <laughs> That's usually the mantra of everybody. But uh, maybe I'll have my grill say it too. Courtney Rada, thanks for joining me this morning. Uh, the, thanks the so much. Oh, yeah, and if you want to uh, check out uh, everything we talked about here today, uh, tipsontv.com. And how do we follow you on social media and, and keep track of your projects and whatnot? Oh, yeah. You can check me out on social media. I'm on uh, the gram. I'm on TikTok, at Court Rada. On Just the gram. Keep, keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Court, <laughs> Courtney Rada, thanks for uh, joining me this morning, my friend. Thanks so much for having me. Did you know about 200,000 soldiers transition out of the military each year, and about 60% say they struggle with that transition back to civilian life? First responders in our own neighborhoods are often too, are also too often pay a personal price for their heroism. 
One company is doing a part to support veterans and all first responders and is reminding us to help do the same. Joining us this morning is the manager of the Tractor Supply Foundation, Marty Skull Jordan, and Thomas Miller from the Canines for Warriors and his service dog, Titan. Well, welcome to the show, you two. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Marty, I want to start with you. What is Tractor mm -hmm. Supply doing to help these brave men and women? Well, let me tell you, we launched our Hometown Heroes Initiative last week. Part of it is in store as a discount for veterans, service members, and first responders. But the part that I'm dealing with is just a wonderful, massive donation of a million dollars for 10 wonderful nonprofit organizations. So we took that million dollars and we split it amongst 10, each getting $100,000. Some of those canines for warriors, where they take dogs out of kill shelters, train them, pair them with veterans for no cost to the veterans. So we'll be talking about that in a moment. But Folds of Honor, Gary Sinise Foundation, Bob Woodruff Foundation, National Police Dog Foundation, all these really great organizations that are helping with that transition or helping afterwards, even the families of those who have served. It's our way of saying thank you and honoring these men and women. So why is it essential for your company to help in this fashion? You know, if you think about who we are and where we are, um, for 85 years, we have been hiring veterans. We support veterans and first responders. Um, veterans, we hire a lot of them for our distribution centers, our supply chain here at our store support center, in our stores. They're in our communities. If you look at rural America, 50% are veterans. And so we want to say a Thank you to them, but also the ones that are serving on the front line in our communities every day, those volunteer firemen and women, folks who are working in the fire department, EMS, police officers, we want to say thank you for keeping all of us safe in our hometowns and around the world. All right, Tom, as you got to tell us about your little buddy there, Titan, uh, <laughs> and what his little donation means for uh, K-9 for Warriors. Okay, well, my buddy here, Titan, is uh is very comfortable right now as you can see but uh, he's almost three years old he's a black lab and he goes everywhere with me and we do everything together um, he provides me uh, comfort and, and peace of mind safety security when we go places the same places that i avoided going because of my ptsd in in the past and so this donation from uh, tractor supply to canines for warriors means a great deal for veterans like myself who struggle with mental health and um, need that companion to help them get back to their life and doing the things that they want to do. So this donation is going to put more dogs um, with more veterans, and that's going to make a huge difference for those veterans. So what are some of the biggest struggles for veterans as they transition out or continue their career in their chosen field? I think uh, some of the biggest struggles just have to do with going from a life where you are being told what to do and how to do it all the time to having to navigate your own life again and doing things like find housing and find a job can be difficult, especially when you're struggling with mental health disorder. And that's where this donation in Canines for Warriors comes in and makes a big difference for veterans struggling with mental health disorders and getting them paired with service dogs. And Marty, is there anything that we could do from that our audience at home could do to help? Absolutely. Well, come in our stores if you're a service member, veteran, first responder, sign up to be part of our Neighbors Club. And because of your service, you get an extra discount um, and multiple times a year. But I also say come to tractorsupply.com honoring heroes and learn about these 10 organizations. Think about volunteering for them, donating to them, learn more about them. Because let me tell you, Folks like Tom, who served our great nation and kept us safe, can be paired with incredible dogs like Titan, which make all the difference in the world. Well, thank you, too, for joining me this morning. Thank you. Thank you. You know, summer's in full swing, and that means barbecues, beach days, and family vacations. But it also can mean pesky bug bites, sunburns, and battles to stay hydrated as temperatures rise. The key to staying well this summer is to remember the risks that come with outdoor fun and having a plan to prevent or treat common seasonal ailments. CVS pharmacist Amy Lynn Safety is joining us live from New York this morning with advice on how to prevent and treat common summer health issues. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the show, Amy. How are you? Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right, Dr. Safety, what are some of the most common ailments you see over the summer months? 
Yeah, so during the summertime, patients are usually coming into their CVS pharmacy asking a lot of questions. So some of the most common questions that we get are how to prevent a sunburn, what to do if you get bit by a bug or maybe have a, a rash after going out on a hike this summer, and also more importantly, how to stay hydrated. And usually it's all fun and games until somebody inevitably ends up with a bad sunburn or one of those mm -hmm. unidentifiable, uh, unidentifiable rashes or some bug bites. Uh, where should we start when it comes to finding answers and, and help? Yeah, so the best place to start is at your local CVS. So most Americans live within 10 miles of a CVS store, so it's so easy to walk in, talk to your pharmacist, and we're there to help you answer your questions and guide you to the best treatment plan. That way you can continue having fun this summer. But when it comes to treating like bites, rashes, and burns, what, what are some of your best tips? Yeah, so when it comes to bug bites, mosquitoes are out and about this summer, and I know they love us, but we hate them. So if you do get bit by a mosquito, one of the most important things is to resist the urge to scratch. I know it's really hard, but the more you scratch those bug bites, you can actually open up the skin and you increase the risk of infection. So we wanna make sure we stop that itchy feeling and we have a couple different options over the counter. So calamine lotion, hydrocortisone cream, all great options to help soothe the skin and to stop that itch. If it does become a little bit you know, more bothersome than normal, you can take oral antihistamines and that will help to treat the itch as well. So that way the bug bite can heal itself and you can go back on to, um, back on to having fun. And staying hydrated is always a challenge. What can we do this summer to kind of help? Yeah, so it's so important to stay hydrated year round, but even so much more important during the summer. So we're all outside, we're active, we're swimming, you're sweating more. And when you're doing that, you're losing electrolytes through your skin in your sweat. So it's really important to make sure you're drinking enough water, but also replenishing those electrolytes. So besides just plain water, it's always a great idea to add some electrolytes, either solutions or drink mixes to your water in order to replenish those essential elect electrolytes that you need in order to stay hydrated. So Pedialyte is not just for kids, it's also for adults as well, and it's a great way to stay hydrated um, and not have all that extra sugar that you might find in sports drinks that are out and about there. So it's really important to make sure you have that water. But something that a lot of people don't realize is that actually 20% of the, your daily water intake comes from the foods that you eat. So if you're packing a bag for the beach, it's a good idea to pack some foods that are high in water content, like watermelon, cucumbers, or celery. That way, when you're out in the sun and eating a snack, you're actually helping to stay hydrated as well. So where can we go for more information about all this? <laughs> for more information, just pop on down to your local CVS. Come talk to your pharmacist. We're here to help. Thanks for joining me this morning, my friend. Thank you so much. Transform ordinary moments into extraordinary memories with our magical succulent bar. Whether it's a quiet moment of reflection or a first date, let the enchantment of nature enhance every occasion. Radiate positivity and create manifestations while making your very own magical succulent. Embrace the magic at Zinkstown, where we bring positivity to any occasion. It is summertime, and that means it's time to say yay to sunshine, adventures, and making unforgettable memories. So joining us today is Megan B. Murphy, the vibrant author of Your Fully Charged Life and a lifestyle expert with her ultimate summer fun guide. She's here with some tips and tricks to make your summer the best one yet. Welcome back, Megan B. Murphy. How are you, my friend? Yay! I like how you worked a little yay into your intro. That was good. <laughs> I try a little bit. Uh, kind of give you that uh, that extra that catchphrase that you use a little bit. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to say something, but it's not working. All right. Well, <laughs> well, there will be plenty of time for outdoor adventures and fun, but uh, if we have downtime and need like a safe source for watching movies and TV online, what do you recommend? So this is super important to me. I've got three kids, 13, 12, and 10. And yes, like they're outside, they're biking, they're at camp, but they also have more downtime than they do during the school year. And the last thing I want to happen is they stumble upon pirate or content or illicit streaming sites when they're trying to watch a movie or a show. That is why I love Stream Safely. Parents, bookmark this site, streamsafely.com. There is a summer camp tab, click on it. There is a checklist that is going to help you keep your kids safe. The tagline is watch without worry and I can't say enough about stream safely. They're also gonna give you movie picks, TV picks that are family friendly, how to watch them safely, where to watch them safely, and even a brain gain tab that gives you content that is gonna be 
maybe inspire some, inspire some learning, but still be entertaining. Ultimate Parental Resource, streamsafely.com. And summer is filled with so many opportunities for fun, but hosting, entertaining, it, it could be a pain in the butt. Uh, wh what advice do you got for that? I Okay, I love entertaining. My house is always a party. I've always got people in the yard. My number one tip is don't have to leave the party because you ran out of the burger buns or you don't have enough chips for the homemade guac. Shipped.com is my delivery sidekick. So with Shipped.com, I've got a $99 yearly membership, which gives you free same-day delivery on orders, $35 or more from places like Target, Costco, your local grocery store, CVS, even Petco. I'm not going to run out of dog food. So this is Shipped.com or the Shipped app. 24-7 service, and you can even star your preferred shoppers so they start to get to know you. You can have those repeat shoppers. This is from Ship.com. When I'm entertaining, this is the ultimate. So what suggestions you got for storage? Oh, so we're in the yard, right? And I don't need all the clutter and chaos spilling out from my one-car garage. The ultimate solution that we found were deck boxes from Keter. That's Keter, K-E-T-E-R.com. They're made of resin, but they look like wood. They're not going to rust. They're not going to rot, rot. They look like a beautiful piece of furniture. But let me tell you, it's 150 gallons, and you can throw all the uh, spillover. I've got lacrosse equipment, gardening tools, pool supplies. You name it, it is in our deck box. And now we can actually park the bikes in the garage. All right. Uh, summer's also kind of a great time to do some like reading. Uh, you're an author. I always like to find out what your picks are. Tell us about what your, uh, let's say, beach read. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm always going to plug your fully charged life because I know that it's going to leave people feeling energized and optimistic. And I think we all need that right now. I also love anything from Zibby Books and Zibby Owen. She has a new memoir that I highly recommend. All right, Megan B. Murphy, where can we go for more information about any of this, my friend? Okay, streamsafely.com, shipped, S-H-I-P-T.com, and Keter, K-E-T-E-R, dot com. Thanks for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me. Our guest today is Dremen, an acclaimed hip-hop artist with a dynamic career that includes winning the 2023 New Mexico Hip Hop Song of the Year for his track, Shiftin. With his music kind of being featured in NBA 2K24, and a Lionsgate film starring Mel Gibson, 50 Cent. Dremen has made a significant mark both locally and internationally. So joining us to explore his journey, achievements, and the inspiration behind a little bit of his work, let's welcome Dremen. How are you, buddy? I'm good. How you doing, man? Thank you for having me. I'm doing good. All right, so we were saying that your single Shifting just won the New Mexico Hip Hop Awards um, yeah. and was also featured in the game NBA 2K uh, can you tell us more about the process of getting your music into such a popular video game? Um, sync and licensing is a huge thing that the team has wanted to take. And that's a huge aspect when you think of movies, commercials, film, anything like that. It's definitely one of those things to where it's a huge part of the world of that. So just to have something that's so energetic and of course, Kobe Bryant's on the cover. That's my favorite player. So y'all, y'all excuse me on that. But, um, to have it for that and to be able to get into those things here is super awesome. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's happening, it's went, and it started a whole other landslide for us. And the song What I Did is actually featured in the new uh, Boneyard movie that's with uh, 50 Cent and Mel Gibson. What was it like to have your music featured in such a, a, a high profile big movie? Um, well, definitely, I want to send a huge shout out to uh, Vince McDaniels, he's a producer of that. Uh, Kurt Nelson here, also for 101.3, who was playing my music and supporting it for it to be heard by them. And to do that is a, it's a really good feeling here. Just as what we were talking about with NBA 2K24, as far as, um, you know, singing, licensing, and placements. And to have that here and for what that story is about, it's um, Amazon, Netflix, you guys check it out here. It's, it's really good. It's a vibe to really have for that and it adds to the resume and career. And not only are you like in New Mexico, you have ties in Europe. Um... And you have this international connection. Um, how has that influenced your music and your career? Yes, it definitely uh, influenced it in a huge way, being able to go over there. There's not a lot of artists, especially from New Mexico, who have been able to go over there and do that. And to meet those things here, I was working over there with DJ Sherry. 
Um, shout out Raw Dollar for the person who A and R then set up the situation for it. Um, really good here. He's also the A and R for the What I Did record that got placed for the Boneyard movie. And um, the music culture, uh, it's very, uh, it's very worldly, if you will, you know. And um, you hear Afrobeat, you hear the things, you hear the household names, you hear the legends. So I'm really excited that it was a, a situation that happened and to be able to go over there and do that here. And there's a lot more to come there. Frankfurt, Germany, London's next. So I'm excited. All right, man. Where can we go for more information and how can our followers uh, or our viewers follow you, check out your career and maybe even get some of your music? Um, you can follow me anywhere at Dre Mizzy, D-R-E-M-I-Z-Z-I-E. It's Draymond at Dre Mizzy. Y'all check it out here. I'm excited about that. Um, I will actually be opening up for a multi-platinum hip-hop artist coming here July 27th as well at the El Rey Theater, Benny the Butcher. Shout out 101.3. Um, Y'all definitely stay tuned for that. That's where you can check me out at. All right, well, thanks for joining me this morning. Thank you. You have a good one, too. I appreciate you guys. Rising New Mexico, let's go. <laughs> that's it for New Mexico Rising. I want to thank you for tuning in and checking out the show. Hey, if you actually want to be on the show, sit right next to me, talk about some of the things that you're doing with your small business, you got an event coming up, all you got to do is email me. That's newmexicorising at gmail.com. You got to tell me what you're interested in chatting about, and we'll figure it out, all right? Uh, also, go to our website, that's NewMexicoRising.com. You can buy some of the cool things that uh, some of our guests send over. We got some things on sale lower than uh, what you could get them in stores because they give us a couple and we sell them on our website to kind of help out. Uh, plus, some of the authors send us their books and we'll send you those for free. All you got to do is pay for shipping. Plus, we got merch, including Baby Cats t-shirts. So if you want one of those, go to our website, that's NewMexicoRising.com. Follow us on our social media. That's New Mexico Rising TV. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. Follow us there for contests and chance to win prizes to go check out free movies and things like that. Uh, until next week, that is New Mexico Rising.